All right, we're just going to build on from this. So we are, I've broken this task down for you into the, all its little bits to build the game up. Um, it's important for you to be able to do that when you have your own chance to make your own games. But let's just look at the next stage right now. So we've got the um, program to ans ask us a question. Now we need to check the answer. So if we just look at the, uh, the quiz here, the uh, questions, we'll see that it gives you some tips. Um, so we've got... We've got an answer variable, we've also got an equals to compare, and then we've got an if then. So it's asking us to do one thing or the other um, by checking the answer. So I'm just going to do that now. I'm going to jump into the, the code that I had earlier in Scratch, um, and I'm just going to look at the next stage. So I'll go into control, I'll do the, the if else, and um, because I want this shape here, I'm going to go into the operators to compare. So I'm just going to click the equals, um, and that way I've got two boxes here. I'm going to compare one thing to the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually compare. Oh, it's in sensing. I'm going to compare the answer to something. So I'm going to drag answer into this, this uh, square box, and then I'm just going to type in Bob as what I'm going to compare it to. Now I need to know that something's happening. So uh, the best thing. I think here is if I, I ask him to um, to say something um, inside the look. So I'm just going to drag um, say say hello um, into there, and I'm going to drag say hello into there. And if this answer is correct, so if we're looking at the code here, if the answer is equal to Bob, then you do this block. Otherwise, you do that block. So I'm going to say instead of hello, I'm going to say correct. And instead of the other one, I'm going to say wrong. Um, and then I'm going to test my code again. So I'm just going to click the uh, green arrow here. What's your name? And I'm going to test it by typing in the wrong answer, just to check that I get the wrong answer. And then I'm going to test it again. I'm going to type in the correct answer, the expected answer. And I'll just make sure that I get expected output. Um, and that's basically it. You copy and paste this code again and chuck that into your answer.